So you just said, I live in a cabin in Homer, Alaska. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think you'd be saying that sentence? Nope. <laughs> Definitely not. Are I also people? didn't think I'd end up being a boat captain. <laughs> What's your name? Chelsea. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, where are we? And we're what's in your life here? the Homer Harbor in Homer, Alaska. Well, yeah, I'm or... a charter captain. We take like tourists or or locals who don't have maybe their own boat um, or knowledge of the fishing area, and we yeah. take them out fishing and. And they just want a, a day of fishing out in the open ocean yep. for halibut and salmon. And... Yeah, just for fun. Yeah, fill up the freezers for the winter. This is my fifth year coming up here. Um, so and you, then, you come up, so this is a seasonal? Sort of. It started out that way. Um, I I stayed last winter, so I've been here about a year and a half now, and then I'm going to stay this winter as well. So I'm from Oregon originally. What made the and decision then, five years ago to come up and do this? Honestly, I just needed money. <laughs> um, and I had a friend that had come up here the previous summer. Um, and I had just, I'd been traveling for about nine months and got back and was pretty broke and <laughs> called, called him up and he said that they were looking for a deckhand for their boat and that they'd probably hire me. So after the first year, I, well halfway through the first year, I, I don't know, I just realized it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. I worked on that boat, the Patriot and the Irish for a couple years um, while I was like learning and then you have to get your captain's license, which um, you have to take like some a handful of Coast Guard exams um, and then you have to have a certain amount of sea time to do that. Um, so I went through that process and then just looked for captaining jobs. And then what made you decide to stay? In you know, cause, Yeah, because that's kind of the next thing that people might ask. It's like, yeah. okay, I get the summers because look at look at around here, it's, 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 it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, but the winters are long and they're, they're dark, literally. Yep. Uh, and cold long, and, dark, and, and cold. That. And you're not kind of miserable. What What made you decide uh, to stay rather than did you just like build relationships here? And, yeah, and that I mean, kind of stuff? the I think the thing I like most about Homer, aside from fishing and all that, is the community because it's it is a small town. Um, and we are very like tight knit, I guess you could mm -hmm. say. Um, so I don't know. It was kind of it was more of the community. I have probably more connections here now than I do anywhere else. Um, including like my home where I'm from, you Were know. Were you from a city, bigger city in Oregon? Yeah, I was from the Portland area, like okay. the metro area. This wasn't a real strong interest of yours growing up? No, I mean, I liked or... fishing and I'd go with my dad sometimes and stuff. And um, when I lived on the coast, uh, we'd go out with my friend's dad's boat okay. um, and stuff. But I never had like worked on a boat or thought about what goes into the fishing part. It was always just like, yeah, for fun, kind of, I'll go fishing. So is she the deckhand now? Yeah, this is that's Emily. Did you Emily. bring her? Did you bring her from Portland too? No, she's from California. Hi. Hi, you too. What, what's your name? I'm Emily. Emily, how did you come up from California? What's your What's your quick story? Um, my brother went to college in Alaska, so after I finished school, I just moved in with him for a couple summers and worked on a whale watching boat. Okay. Um, yeah. Then I ended up on this boat with Chelsea. So let's be honest here. When, when people call up and say, hey, we'd like to uh, get a boat to go fishing, and then you two pull up, are they surprised to see two young women? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we get a lot of people who ask if, if we're, because we pick up people from the office and be like, are you coming fishing with us today? Like, yeah, actually, I am. We're taking you <laughs> we're, fishing. We're taking you fishing. Are you coming with us? Um, but yeah, I think people are usually kind of surprised. <laughs> Well, and honestly, so. like in the last, I don't know, I've, I mean, I've only been here five years, but even since I very first started, the amount of like female deckhands mm -hmm. um, and captains has like completely just shot out of the water. Um, mm. Yeah, there's a ton. <laughs> is that a dynamic that's ever difficult or is it just like any other work environment where you know, there might be more men or more women, depending on the, if you're working at a school, there's more women. If you're working on a construction zone, yeah. there's more men. It, is, is the gender dynamic at all awkward or difficult here? Or is it fun or, I don't know. Um, I would say all of the above. Okay. 
It can be difficult, it can be fun. Um, we definitely are, the majority of our clientele are like men, usually kind of middle age and up. Um, and so sometimes that can get a little weird. Just, I know it's kind of strange to have two young women <laughs> telling you what to do. Um, or how to fish or whatever, and that can kind of sometimes create a weird dynamic. Um, but I don't know, we've never, we don't, I wouldn't say never, but we don't often have very, very uncomfortable situations. Yeah. Emily, how long have you been doing, is this your first summer or? Uh, no, this is my third summer in Homer. Oh, okay. And do you live here in the winters too, or? No. <laughs> are, you, are, are you convinced to stay this winter, or do you think you'll go back to California? Uh, I'm gonna stick around for the fall. Ah, oh, okay. We'll goes. start with the fall. Yeah. <laughs> that's how kinda... you get trapped. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what you're saying now. Yeah. yeah. Come November. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up here and it feels like it's a little bit removed in a good way mm -hmm. from all the. Because you're physically very far away. Yeah. But then also, I think mentally, from all the. Because you know how it is in the U.S. now. Yeah. I mean, it's. Oh, don't don't watch the news. You know. I, what I mean? Well, so yeah, like, and that's another thing. Help you, is it a little bit more relaxing and removed up here? So it's um, like I, I like it up here. We're, we're think, I'll, I'll stay up here. That yeah. It's too much. I mean, I definitely feel pretty disconnected from the rest of the United States right now. I guess just because we are out here, we're out on the water every day. We don't have service. We don't, you know, I don't have cable TV. I don't watch the news. So. Do you it's do hard social to social media? Um, yeah, but I don't do a whole lot of it, especially like when we're really busy in the summer. I just I, like work, eat, sleep, and repeat pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, with a couple of showers like sprinkled in maybe. But yeah, it's just it's hard to, to keep up with everything that's going on, especially when it's changing so fast. I find myself forgetting about all of that. And I don't I, I guess I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, and people are coming here a on vacation to get away from that. Yeah. You know, they're not here to talk politics or to think about right. the yeah, we try not to bring or, politics oh, we have to lay out these people because of COVID and da da da. So. Yeah. But you have family in Portland or the Portland mm -hmm. area and friends and yeah. things there specifically have been. Very yeah, hard. they've been. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I've I talk to my parents um, like pretty regularly, and they'll kind of update me on stuff, but. Um, Are they disheartened or distraught or rolling their eyes or about what? I don't know. Just like well, everything. Well, specifically, the rioting downtown Portland. That's oh, been happening for yeah, two that's now. been. They don't live like down in that area, but um, they definitely have. I don't know that they've been directly affected by it, um, mm -hmm. but it's certainly scary to have that going on. You know, 15 minutes away from you and yeah, and all that. It's pretty unique here, the way that we push for halibut, a lot of people drift, and which we do that also, but a lot of it is like based on the tide and anchoring. And yeah, it's definitely different because, you know, every day the tide's at a different time and it's a different size. Um, and the fish usually bite around the same time of the tide in certain spots. Um, then you add in the weather um, and it's kind of, you know, every day is sort of like putting together a puzzle and figuring out like, using basically educated guessing and like taking into account all of the is that is that part of the enjoyment the challenge or is mm -hmm. it a pain I think um, both huh. <laughs> it's it can be frustrating but it's also keeps things really interesting and um, I mean every day is different so that's kind of yeah. the nice part about it also it's not like the same thing every single day you have a lot of instruments up there that kind of help you with depth and mm -hmm. yeah we tide. have a depth sounder um, that also kind of shows the tide. Um, we usually use like we have like little tide books that will say the time and the size of each tide. Yeah. How, how, how was today's fishing? Today was really good. Yeah, we just had a single species day, um, just halibut, and yeah, everybody got their limit, and um, it was it was beautiful on the water, so that helps. <laughs> and yeah, it was a really good day. It's hard to beat. I've always worked in customer service, but I feel like this is kind of more the type of customer service I like and 
Um, a lot of people come up here as their kind of, you know, once in a lifetime trip sort of thing and um, it's kind of cool to be a part of that and get to shape their experience. And it wasn't something I'd ever thought about until we had like a group of people that were like a Make-A-Wish or um, people who were terminally wow. ill or something coming up wow. and being like, this is our, this is like something I've always wanted to do my whole life and I never have been wow. able to or... How can people contact Irish Mist or you or if you're interested um, in plugging your service? Yeah, yeah. The company that we work for is called Deep Strike Sport Fishing. Deep Strike, just like deep it sounds. Deep Strike, yeah. Okay. Like Deep Strike <laughs> Sport Fishing. So this is now your fifth year here and you're staying now this winter and you stayed last winter so this looks like something that you're kind of sticking with like it's, it's yeah. becoming a, a, a life yeah um, I mean for now that's it's kind of what feels right to be mm -hmm. doing so I guess I'm just gonna keep doing it <laughs> um, I've started to get people who come back every year to fish with me and okay. stuff so it's kind of and it makes it kind of hard to so. then not come back the next year because I do I want to see them and and it's fun to kind of be building like my own clientele kind of thing mm -hmm. so well thanks for that thanks yeah. for sharing the life here because again this is just yeah people don't people don't really know if they see a photo from it or again if they hear about Alaska it's from Alaska State Troopers reality show yeah or from <laughs> alone uh -huh. in the wilderness up by you know Fort Yukon or something yeah and, I saw that show <laughs> like uh, this uh, this is this is a slice of heaven here it really is yeah Homer's a little like paradise kind of it's, it's nice here <laughs> well thanks for sharing your life and yeah uh, about this about this culture yeah of course okay. thank you <laughs> yep Yeah, the sunrises in the morning are really pretty because the sun comes up, that's east over there, and it comes up right there with the mountains kind of right in front of it. But So you're saying about the tides, you, 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 you just have to follow the tide in a sense to determine like where to go with depth. And yeah, pretty much. Stuff.